I figured something like that would happen. Because my enemy time is fairly well. Er, the enemy patterns are fairly well, um. mapped out to this route. Which is really, along with this boost, one of two reasons why it saves so much time over any other route, I'm guessing. Like, you could have a really good route that goes really fast in some areas, but you have to wait for enemies to get to a decent part of their pattern for you to pass or pick up certain gems like the problem area in the very end that I may be circumnavigating. That would save at least a second. Oh my god. Another second saved and on video, that would be so perfect. Just completely obliterating this, um... Okay, let's see. That is 1.7 seconds. That's not even a second. Oh, my time on the trap may beat it. But Shmoo Tower... It's 0.8 seconds. Thanks, guys. You're making this all the better. Is up revolving no it's a revolving door and two I have more than two don't I I feel like revolving door is my second one Let me check the spreadsheet. Hmm, those are my only two. That's weird.
Alright, that tweet has been sent out. Crapper. Alright, um... That basically only means that one was bad. Getting caught on that bee is really rare. I'm missing this boost. Like... Okay, I only missed one there. This is really sloppy, but I'm gonna keep going just for the practice. Trying to work out a better way to handle the end.
Okay, so I stand to save a second and a half. For sure. Maybe more. Because there is nothing that I, like, skipped for speed. That's interesting. Never done that. I haven't done. May have done that before. But I haven't in a long time. on this one out. I still save time even though I fucked it up. Oh my god. That's really dumb. That is the actual dumbest thing. I guess that just goes to show how strong this route is now. So cool. New record. Let's make it better. Let's see where that puts me overall. I am less than 25 seconds behind Joel. Stand to make it about 24-ish. I'm gonna say 24.4 seconds left in the gap.
Oh, I just heard a really bad audio snap. I don't know where that came from. Another time safe found. This route was apparently not ballsy enough. I think I got all of them in a boost. Yeah. Okay. 
That's it. Oh, baby. Oh, that's so good. That's so good! Oh, four seconds faster! Oh, wow. Wow, that feels really, really great. Yeah. Okay, what time of my stream is this? 38 minutes. Prove that, but I don't know. I feel like that's pretty standalone, to be honest. Oh my god, I'm only how far away am I? I am less than. Oh, hold on a second. I'm something point seven five seconds away. I want to say 23.75 seconds away. But like, I was super happy with 45.15 a moment ago, and I just blew right past that. I don't know, this may be one of those days where like, sometimes I just get nothing for the longest time, and then it all just comes rushing open and it would be really cool to hit that right now because there were days where I was hitting 5, 10, 15 seconds off daily and that kind of stopped so and I knew it was unsustainable but it kept going for like two weeks it was really great um, I don't know, to b finally be done with 45 minutes. Oh, also, interesting note, at some point, I became closer to Joel than TMIF is to Joel. Which means I'm getting really, really close. feel good about that.
Oh, did I not update the thing? Fuck. I didn't... Oh, crap. I thought I updated it. Apparently I didn't. Hey, guys. How's it going? There, now, now it's updated. You guys just missed it. Um... The thing I posted on Twitter showed me getting, I think, 2375 or something like that on Puke Cube. Wow, I can't jump and talk at the same time. And I fucking destroyed that. I'm now a good four seconds ahead of second place. It's really great. And now I'm looking for something else to do. Or... Er, a different level it's just a matter of am I feeling it how much time do I have to save here a whole tenth of a second maybe later I haven't played this one in a long time oh the frame drops are real okay That was dumb. Why did I do it that way? I don't want to do it that way. I'm just gonna ignore that one this time around. Let's not do it that way either. Lunaris, did you change your... Okay, no, it's just mobile being weird. I thought for a sec you changed your chat color because you appeared uh, blue-violet instead of your normal blue. We're going to ignore that. But yeah, as far as the runs have been going... Uh, no, I didn't get a new mic. The issue is, I normally leave it up where you're hearing it through my hair. But right now, it's by my face. Hi, Seki. You also missed it. And, like, I just got a fucking... I, I just fucking destroyed my record, so I'm really excited and happy, so it shows in my voice. So yeah, no new mic. Uh, Alright, fine, Seki, but I just want you to know that you just need to be, like, hanging out on Smashboard's IRC right now, because you, you want to talk about Smash way too much. My voice may also be clear because I'm sitting up and not... Because it sounds different to me, too. But yeah, I've been... The runs have been hot today. There was a time... Wow, voice crack. Um, there's a time around early to mid-February where I was shaving 5 to 10 seconds off daily. And at that rate, I would have probably been top Shuggy player by, like, tomorrow. 
but clearly I'm not because I'm still because the title now that I fixed it is Hugh hopelessly grinds <laughs> I was not doing so hot before today Um, Seki, my best advice is, um, rather than making a general Zelda guide, learn one thing really well, whether it's a tech or... Oh yeah, and it's already being said in chat, and I just need to... Hold on, what's going on here? My... Hello? I may be send sending random things. Uh, no. Okay. My chat doesn't want to... Or... Okay. Hold on. gonna reopen chat. Alright, I lost the thing. No, it wasn't that it didn't like the talk of Zelda, like I could see all but like the last two messages because I use my iPad for chat and for whatever reason it wanted to use the keyboard where I wanted to read chat. And then I turned it the right way and it worked, but the keyboard was still up and I didn't want that. Plus, I wanted it horizontally. So, I closed chat and reopened it because that was the only fucking way to get rid of my keyboard, apparently. Thanks, Twitch. Um. But yeah, Seki, uh, or actually, I'm gonna first address Lunaris. Um, while there is a guide to Zelda, and it probably covers a lot of the stuff, there's a lot more detail you can get into with general things. Like, I saw a guide that was pretty decent. That was basically just, um, Gordo mechanics for DDD, or, like, there are pages and pages of stuff in the Greninja thing that's just, like, what does this kill per like, what are these, I think it was, substitute for the most, like, kill moves that aren't really kill moves and what percents they kill at so like not your basic up smash or down smash but like up throw or substitute or um certain shadow sneak combos and what they'll kill at and stuff like that
so there's definitely room for more guides and stuff. And having not read the Zelda guide in full, I've seen bits and pieces of it. I just... I'm not going to read every character's guide. Yet. I may at some point, if I get bored. I currently main Greninja, and I play Kirby and DDD on the side. I may become a DDD main just because I feel like I've learned Greninja while migrating from spammy Kirby down B spam to um, actual competitive smash play. So, like, I feel like I need to take a break from Greninja because there's still bits of that. Like, Seki can confirm this. I still spam, like, Greninja's fast fall attack a lot. And it's really easily punishable, but I still do that because, you know, Brawl, you could just get away with that so much. Especially because it wasn't like I was playing anyone who actually cared. There's some sadistic part of me that wants Smash 4 to take a Brawl Minus step in its production and not necessarily nerf Diddy, but either completely change the mechanics so much that you can't even call it Smash 4 anymore, and I know this isn't going to happen, or like completely change how throws work so that it's difficult to combo off them, because it's not just Diddy that who has. Um, or even better, Mewtwo is an unstoppable force that completely annihilates everything and comments that Diddy is OP just get buried under the ban Mewtwo everything like that like as much as I want to see Smash 4 meta evolve into comparable to melee at the same time if it's gonna fail and I get the feeling it will well yeah Lunaris it would be horrible because then it would be pay to win and everyone would get salty But, like, if, and we kind of are, are all secretly expecting this, um, like, Smash 4 doesn't get properly balanced by any real meter, and it's sort of the arbitrary things Nintendo has set up, um, then I want them to do it in sort of the most, or sort of kill competitive Smash 4 in the most hilarious way possible.
can someone remind me the how to get Mewtwo in Smash for details again? Because I'm trying to think. I may not actually get Mewtwo despite having both games. Oh, oh, fuck, I choked it. I fucking choked it. There is time to be saved. And I saved some. But I could have saved more. You know it would also be a hilarious way to kill Smash 4 meta, uh, like, publicly announce in every patch we're going to be nerfing Greninja. Lol. Like, as much as I would hate that, there's just some part of me that thinks it would be absolutely hilarious. No chokes. Okay, so, yeah, I'm probably not gonna get Mewtwo, er, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get Mewtwo then, because this is technically my brother's copy of Smash, even though it has my Nintendo Network ID on it and everything, and I think he did that via Club Nintendo, and I can't remember if I did with Smash 4 or not, because it was technically my copy of the game, and I don't think I was thinking very clearly, because it was a late night, and I was like, I gotta get the points. Alright, that's fine then. I feel like over time customs are going to be more accepted, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them yet. Like, I like the idea, but I also feel like it's one of those things that would be better if the game had more active development, which, you know, it's already been said.
But, like... You need to understand, Seki, like... Up until... I'm gonna say December. It might have been November. All, or... No, it wouldn't have been November. Because Smash just came out by then. But, like, all of the Smash 4 attorneys were three stock, and then eventually, like, they decided to go two stock. It's gonna be something like that, where once one tourney decides it's okay, and Evo's a fucking big tourney to do it in, more tourneys are gonna start being like, okay, this, uh, these customs aren't inherently broken, it'll be fine to allow them. At least that's how I see it going. But yeah, like, Palatina's basic moveset are, is, like, a ton of moves that all essentially do the same thing, and then lasers. And it's kind of funny. I really don't want to know what the end of this name is. At the same time, I really do. Any guesses? I'm gonna say balls. Is it anyone near the top? disappointed if it is. I don't think it is because that level tends to have... Okay, no it's not. Someone before, like, I remember seeing a tier list. It might have been DeBuzz's tier list. I'm gonna pull it up for a sec. Okay, now it was Dark Pit over Pit or something like that. Or it was like, one of the clones was better than the original because weight differences or something like that. It definitely wasn't Martha and Lucina. differences in a better hitbox. Can't recall what it was exactly. Since my chat's being conversational for once, I may as well save time on the one level I can do absentmindedly. Uh, if the noise gets to be stupid, just let me know.
And that's that trick. Or that's that level. It's essentially all RNG if I haven't told you that enough since you two are like my most regular viewers. Especially since Kasana disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh wow, that's really good. Come on. Nope. Rip. Come on. This annoys me more than anything else, where this guy's just able to avoid the shots for half the time that I have to do this level. And basically get killed by the time I've ar the gems should have already been falling. That was fast enough. Like, it's not RNG enough that these buttons are like, that it's, I want to say, a 1 in 36 chance that the button combination I use is the right one. There also has to be an element of he may not peek out or the lightning may not reach him in the first one, or actually in any of them. Just because of how it works. That's really great, you know. Question, is Smash Run a game mode on the Wii U, or is it just the board game? I'm talking about like the Smash Run on the 3DS. run game on the 3DS, is it available on the Wii U in some format? This boss is fun, but it's so stupid to speedrun. I thought it wasn't, so I thought I'd played everything on it. On you at least once. I don't know, I like how that's set up a lot better than um, the board game, to be perfectly honest. Are you guys hearing that audio popping, or is it just my headset? 